New Yorkers have been receiving words of wisdom from a street art character named Phoebe New York around town on lamp posts and buildings for a few years but now they have a chance to learn what she is really about and where she came from So what's on this wall is uh it's my artwork obviously um this is Phoebe and it's kind of a surreal moment because I've been working on her for oh gosh I would say evolving her for the last 20 years and it's just it, sometimes a surreal moment to be standing in Chelsea in an art gallery and and seeing the work actually living in shadow boxes on a wall I did not come up with her really it just it really happened to me um she happened to me and it was as if she was born and I didn't have any plans for this character in my life and it is that is part of the reason it is so special to me because the minute I drew her face and she really started I don't see anything here but she started as a profile and I was going through some difficult times and I drew this profile I was making collages early on and it progressed it evolved over time the collages and then one day I made a profile face and there it was this face and I saw it as a face I saw a little eye and a mouth on a pink piece of circle that I had cut out as a head and her head really took shape over time At the Chelsea Gallery visitors can explore and exhibit about the alter ego character created by artist Libby Shotel discussing how she approaches each piece shortel said a lot of the times i don't plan it how how i'm going to make anything it's just i cut everything up put it on and it's kind of like a cake and then i just start putting the ingredients together and and something will happen but it's trial and error and it's you know the words i have to find you know the the exact kind of composition it's not just like i put the words on and it happens i i really move things around i try different words cuz i mean the words are everything to me and i think she's you know she's a she's a bit of a philosopher herself i live vicariously through this girl and she gets to do the things that i'm not really doing and you know i'm always i've always wanted to be you know able to put myself into another person and this is about as close as i can get i think her phoebe new york persona is created with found objects including vintage photographs magazine pages clothing old books record covers and occasionally includes iconic pop art elements everything i make i put they're very personal and she is in each one i mean for instance the love pieces I went through a lot with love and she was a real vehicle for me to express how I felt and I, it's it was so important for me to get through my feelings to put this on a piece of paper and to not feel you know the way I was feeling um and I I was able to express it and by doing that when I showed other people they also felt something that they were going through and that's what I find so surprising and also kind of i don't know um pretty amazing that the all the work i've done through my emotions and expressions other people have related to and that's been the connection that my art has held i think through um the people who've seen it who found it outside who've you know been so supportive
I thought, you know, I was alone making all of these things, thinking it's just me and I'm, I'm just, you know, working through this on my own. And then it became so social and it was just such a way for me to communicate with people. I mean, she's really become um, almost like a new language for me, just to express how I feel. Not to sound cliche, but a bit of a dream come true for me. And it's emotional to see it and to see her shining in the light. Um, and not on my desk or on the floor or stuck in albums and just, you know, a place where people can actually come out and experience her. And that's just been something I wouldn't say I was consciously working toward. Um, I think as an artist, I just work on doing the art every day and it really keeps me going, keeps me alive to make this art. But, you know, this is kind of one of those experiences where you say, oh my gosh, like it just, it just happened. And it's very, it's pretty incredible. Please note, on the request of the artist, we are hiding her by making identifiable on camera with attention paid to artwork.